What's up guys, I'm Sean from SRK Cycles. We have one of the most exciting, most fun bikes ever. And this is back when they put the frame back here so you can actually pick up the bike from the, from the back end. Let's get into it. Guys, this is the legendary Suzuki DRZ 400 SM. DRZ 400 SM. This is the super, super motor version of this bike. They made a couple DRZs, they made the DRZ like maybe the regular one. They made a DRZ E, which was the electric start. They made the DRZ something else maybe, which I, I had a DRZ E, uh, loved it. It was my dirt bike for a while. They're good, big power, just a big, you know, 400 CC uh, single cylinder motor. Great for off-road. It's more of a trail bike though. But then when they came up with the super, super motor version, it was just, it was an awesome bike. Now for a long time, I kind of thought that, I kind of thought it was kind of a lower quality super moto because there's bigger, better, faster ones out there. But then I started realizing, you know what? There's so much potential in these motorcycles. There, there's always something faster out there. Part of it is you gotta get better to learn how to ride the bike. You know what I mean? So I've, I've grown to love these things. They're a blast. If you love doing wheelies and just having a, having a good time, it's really hard to beat this. Another great thing about these motorcycles is the DRZ 400 uh, motor is ver basically indestructible, except for this one. We actually got this bike with very low miles, with 4,300 miles, and at some point in time, someone ran it low on oil, and we had, we had head issues, so we, we got the whole top end of the motor rebuilt, and now, it's been, and now it's indestructible. There's a lot of reasons why this bike is a blast and tons of fun to ride, and honestly, everyone needs one of these, a super motorbike in their collection, and these are the, one of the cheapest super motorbikes that are reliable, so there's a lot of good reasons for it, but instead of talking about it, let me just show you. Man, I really do. I really do just love, love these Uber motorbikes. And here's one of the reasons why I love them. They're so, so light, so nimble, that you can really just whip them around like no other motorcycle out there. Now, sport bikes, sport, Sport bikes, they're light and they're sporty, and you, but they're light and sporty at higher speeds, you know what I mean? No sport bike on a small track, on a small, light, nimble, itty-bitty little track, no sport bike's gonna beat a good rider on a, on a super motorbike like this, because this is just, this is the epitome of lightness. Now, when it comes to acceleration, it's not the fastest accelerating thing, but just the fun, cool stuff you can do with it and the stoppies and jumping stuff and you know, it's got nice big suspension and hitting those twisties and all right, all right, all right. All right guys, little words of wisdom. Hebrews 13, 16, and do not neglect doing good and sharing for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Now when I think of fun, a lot of times I ride motorcycles, a lot of it's just quick trips, you know what I mean? Riding around, somewhere riding around the town, not doing anything super, super long or super far, but then just kind of, you know, pushing the limits, not the speed limit, just pushing the limits of the bike a little bit, you know what I mean? And finding the, 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 the twistiest roads in my area, and then just, just having a lot of fun, you know what I mean? That That's, it's something that, that me and in the, in, the, in the point in my life, I can do more often. I could do it on a daily basis. Maybe when I'm riding home, I take a little longer trip home. You know, um, maybe, I, you know, I don't always have the, uh, maybe on a Saturday when the kids go to bed or before they wake up or something like that. I can jump out and I can just have a little fun for an hour, half an hour, you know. These bikes are so perfect for that. Or you can just go to a parking lot and do wheelies or just right down the street. Uh, as, as long as it's legal in your area. You could jump stuff. If there's a bridge, if there's like a, a covered bridge like we have near our place, you know what I mean? That, that's real steep. You could jump them with this bike. Um, there's a lot of cool, fun things you can do with these motorcycles. That are completely different than what you would do with a, with a sport bike or a cruiser bike or anything. It opens up different possibilities. So 
I think a super motorbike, it just has to, it's one of those bikes that kind of has to be on your list of bikes that you need if you're collecting a nice collection to be a well-rounded motorcyclist. Now, I'm going to admit, I've not actually, I've not actually got really a, completed a good, a good wheelie, which I'm going to have to do at some point in time during this test drive. Now for me, the perfect wheelie is in second gear. Oh, no, not that one. Now I got a story about riding supermotos. Me and my buddy, we both bought KTM supermotos a couple, uh, a couple years ago. And we were out cruising around, having a good time. And we stopped at a, a Sheets local gas station. And a guy was like, he came up to us and he was like, man, I wish I could go ride with you guys. You guys look like you're having a lot of fun. I'm like, yeah, we are. And, you know, a guy with a big old belly and an older guy. And we're like, yeah, you don't know nothing, old man. And he's like, you know what? I want to come ride with you guys. And we're like, what? He's like, yeah, I'll go grab my bike. He go grab the BMW GS, uh, either 1200 or 1150. He gets this bike. He brings it. He brings it back. We meet up with the guy. Now listen, I'm, I'm a pretty good rider. My buddy's a pretty good rider. And we're on pretty nimble motorcycles. You know what I mean? Super motorbikes are very, very nimble. And he takes us to these roads. And he knew the roads. He knew the roads really, really well. And we didn't. But we were, we were pushing these bikes to keep up with this guy. This guy was dragging a bag. He was leaning down so far that his bags were dragging. And he's rocking big old knobby tires on this thing. It was amazing. It really changed the way of what I think of one, you know, this dude's an older rider. Um, not in the best shape, but the dude knew how to ride. He knew how to control that bike. And we were probably pushing like 90, maybe 85% on our supermotos. Um, not that if, in a, not if I needed to, could I take them? I think I could. But uh, it was wild. It really kind of changed my, uh, just kind of how I thought about everything. I'm gonna get a good, I'm gonna get a good wheelie up here. If you wanted to shred through that field, just jump in there, man. You really, you, you could. You could on a bike like this. You could take this thing off road if you wanted to. There's so many fun possibilities. If you if you had to have one bike, it's hard, it's, it's hard to say that a super motorbike would not be a great option for your one and only motorcycle. I'm a little rusty. Alright guys, that wraps it up. We'll see you guys later. Don't remember, it's not what you're riding. But where are you going?